Digitizing or imaging fluid preserve collections is important for increasing access for researchers and the public alike to the vast collections in natural history museums that are preserved in alcohol. Fluid preserved or wet collection specimens in natural history museums are typically fishes, reptiles and amphibians, aquatic invertebrates, and to a lesser degree, birds and mammals. And these organisms are stored in alcohol for the long term so that researchers may be able to access information about them for many, many generations, sometimes for centuries. Digitizing or imaging fishes at the Florida Museum of Natural History is a five-step process. The first of those five steps involves accessing taxon-specific blocks in the collection and selecting the best species exemplars from those blocks. Part of selecting specimens for a particular day's photography involves selecting blocks of specimens that are of a similar shape, size, and dimension, as this lends greater efficiency to your process. In the ichthyology collection at the Florida Museum of Natural History, 80 to 90 percent of the specimens in the collection can be imaged using a photo immersion tank, also known as a squeeze box. A squeeze box is like an aquarium tank, except that it has a movable pane of glass inside that allows you to push the specimen forward and immobilize it or otherwise position it for photography. A squeeze box is typically filled with 75 percent ethanol or distilled water. This is done to prevent glare and to prevent the specimen from drying out. For imaging specimens in the squeeze box, technicians use a Canon EOS 70D camera, and for lighting, flash units are used. Once the specimen is put into the squeeze box, high resolution images of three main views are captured. Dorsal view, ventral view, and lateral view, which will illustrate detailed morphology of important taxonomic characters typically used in research. During the imaging process, photographing the label ensures that the label data will always be associated with the images. The label has important information such as the scientific name, the locality information, and most importantly, the catalog number. During imaging, technicians are able to check the quality of the image through the computer that is tethered to the camera. Once the image is on the computer, they are able to open the raw file format in the program Lightroom, and then double check the exposure using the histogram, and if need be, change the file format into one such as a high resolution JPEG. Once they are satisfied with the image, they are then able to assign a name to the image file. The name will include the catalog number, genus name, species name, and view. This is an important step in the process for identification and organization. Once image capture is complete, a collection technician takes all image specimens to a workstation to improve their record in the database. Improvements to any given specimen lot that has just been imaged may include georeferencing the collection locality. This is done using geolocate software or Google Earth or a variety of other means uh, as long as the precise coordinates of the collecting location can be determined. The image capture process also affords us the opportunity to conduct basic uh, curatorial enhancements to lots that in many cases have been sitting on shelves for decades or more. These include changing out caps, providing new alcohol, or providing new labels. As fluid collections can be large, it is critical that processes are efficient and tested and re-examined periodically so that the whole process can be replicated at other collections in a similarly efficient manner. Providing high-resolution images of fluid-preserved specimens provides greater access to the wealth of information stored in these collections.